Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Game uh, Games, and welcome back to. Um, we're gonna put a little bit more money into uh, my hardware things. I want to build some cool hardware. Um, we're playing. Oh, you can see more people working there. Oh fuck! Come on, do our boost. There we go. To um, oh the PlayStation Four is out now. For um, what are we doing? Uh, game development tycoon. We're working hard on Fallout 3. The market's normalized. I don't remember what was up above strategy. And we just released our super hit Mandolin Hero. I mean, don't you wish you had Mandolin Hero right now? You're like, I want to rock that Mandolin. So let's see. we got to have dialogues for sure. I'm not so worried about the AI. We want decent level design. We can pull that down a little bit. Celebrity voice acting? Yes. Voiceovers? Hell yeah. Oh, celebrity voice acting. Dynamic environment? Oh, no. We can get rid of mini games. Oh. What if I get rid of Easter eggs? No. I guess we'll have to keep that. The AI. So the AI needs to go up just a little bit. Man, but level design. I want no loading screens. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go. And uh, we need to change some of this so people aren't overworked. Jesse, you switch over to the AI. I will take over your dialogues, because I'm good at dialogue. I'm a writer. Why not? I don't think that'll work. I should fire Luke. He's kind of the weak link, but... There we go. Our hardware is really moving up now. Yeah, Fallout 3, man. Look at the design and tech. Technology is lagging a little bit, but... Holy shit, I saw 12s and 16s pop out of my guy. A lot of 69 bugs. Ooh, a lot of 69 going on. So let's see. I want... No, we got to have good, a good world designed. Sound isn't as important, though I do like it. What about graphics? How low can we go on graphics? Do we really need a soundtrack? We want surround sound. We do want a soundtrack, though. Kind of. Mm, I guess we'll have to sacrifice the soundtrack. Dynamic world. Let's see how high can we go? Nope. I want a dynamic world. How about at least realistic weather in a day night cycle? If we pull the sound down a little bit. Can we get those? Yeah. That'll work. Are any of these guys good enough to. Um, I think we're going to have to fire one of them. Oops. So we can get more people working on our R&D lab, on our hardware. Ooh, look, they're working on the green screen. Kick ass. Ooh, the hardware thing's really going now. I know we're spending a lot of money on it. So let's get all these bugs out of here. Now we got a shitload of research points. Mandolin Hero is still selling. 40 million? Holy fuck. We should have been making music games all along. Sold three million and we made forty million in dollars? Holy fuck. That made us a lot of money. Hopefully we don't waste it all now. Wow, keep adding well man, our guys are like, I got more and more good ideas for Fallout. You ready to release it, kids? Don't put any more bugs into it. No, no bugs, please. We're already going to have a few bugs. In two months, the PS3 is coming off the market. Let's release this thing. Good management. Thank you. I tried my best. That's the important thing in life is to try. That's how it is when I try and hit on women. Try, try again until I slap you. Not really. Yay, sound! Why did that thing disappear? I wasn't looking at it. Did it max out or something? Release the game. Re reached level 10 with a character. I did it. Phil gets a raise. Good for you, Phil. Let's see the first reviews for Fallout 3. Oh, please be high. Six? Aw. Come on. Six? So it's a little above average. Well, so much for what I was hoping for it to be. Maybe it's the platform too? I don't know. 
I think we're gonna go to a PC next. It's not really selling like I hoped it would. We just got word that Fallout 3 is... Oh, it's already got 500,000 in sales? That's not so bad. How much did it cost us to make, though? I mean, we spent a lot of money in a new game engine. Oh, it's already making money, though. Well, I guess that's not so bad. So you, go take a vacation. You go take a vacation. You go take a vacation. Man, it's already sold a million? Fuck. Apparently it's popular with people, though. Everybody go on vacation. Well, you're all on vacation, I'm gonna do some training, I guess. World design? Sound. I'm gonna specialize in sound. PS3 is no longer supported. I guess it would make sense for me to specialize in sound. I've had to do tons of sound effects over the years for my cartoons. Like this. I'm a bird! Bye bye! You're like, that was so realistic, I thought there was a bird in there with you, Super Paul. There was. But which one was it? Me or the... Ba -ba? I don't see how my hardware's doing. I'm getting hard for your hardware. Not yours. Hey, look, it's like Halo. I guess we, we could have made a Halo-type game. So let's, um, now that everybody's back... Let's, um, let's have her research, too. Or train. We'll have you train for a boost, too. Let's see if there's any good publishing deals out. I don't want to make anything for the DS. No, I don't care about mobile. We got out of mobile. Strategy game for the new... No, let's go to... Let's, let's make a PC game. I love PC gaming. That's 13. Yeah, PC's doing pretty well still. Let's um let's pick the topic first. Fashion, mature, um, casual. No, let's do a sim and a strategy. We use the newest game engine. Come on, pick it. There we go. Make it large. Probably shouldn't do all this. It's gonna be a failure. <laughs> You know, oh wait, okay, we're gonna change it. We're gonna we're gonna make it fashion and we're gonna make it casual. Um, adventure. Yeah. We're gonna make it a medium game for everybody. And we're gonna make it um Barbie Barbary. Um Barbie goes to Washington. No, Barbie goes to bed that fits <laughs> it's a big game about her getting ready for bed she'd have to get her damn dog okay i'm gonna use my boost okay so i'm working on it i don't think the engine's gonna matter in a barbie game store branching story moral choices <laughs> yeah um can we do that no we don't need multiplayer in a fucking barbie game or character progression or skill trees does that make it any better I want moral choices in a Barbie game. Fuck it. We're gonna have We're gonna have um bugs to fix. Cause I'm like, we're gonna have moral choices. Should I murder my dog cause he's loud? Cause I wanna sleep? It's up to you, Barbie. Um, let's see. We want mini games. That seems like fun. Celebrity voice acting? It's a Barbie game. We don't need that. AI? I guess we gotta boost the AI. We don't need better AI. We'll have AI companions, so it'll be Skipper or whoever the fuck the other people are. Oh, we don't. You can have loading screens. I don't care about that in a Barbie game. Uh, so I think we're good. We got our best people on it. Barbie goes to bed. All the kids are like, "Ooh, we'll do a small booth. We're not gonna promote this one terribly. We'll do um a little bit of marketing though. Magazines should be mostly gone though." Yay, we made 32 million on Fallout 3? Wow. Maybe we should keep releasing stuff for Microsoft's consoles. Seems like a good idea. Get those bugs out of the way, friends. We don't need much of a world. We want some awesome sounds so you can hear Barbie be like, I like to do things. I'm Barbie. 
<laughs> I don't know why she would be like, <sighs> well, I guess we'll do that. We'll have a soundtrack. You can get your own Barbie soundtrack. Okay, maybe we won't have a Barbie soundtrack. Come on, I want these graphics to be kick-ass. There we go. Surround sound, so you're like you're there. We don't need... Yeah, we don't need most of that stuff there. There could be a shitload of bugs in this game. That's alright. I've watched other people LP Barbie games that have bugs. Why not this one, too? Come on, Barbie goes to bed. Isn't that the most exciting title ever? People come into E3? You know you want it. You want to watch her go to bed. If you win, you get to watch her sleep. It's like the end of the second Mario Brothers game. It's a total rip. It was all a dream. Oh, I feel bad for the almost million people that showed up. We're 58th of the conference. How's our hardware coming? Get on it, scientists. You don't look like scientists to me. Whatever. Can I just... Can I just... There we go. Well, this is not going to be our best game ever. I can't believe it. Barbie goes to bed seemed like it would be a winner. Oh, she's got her boost thing. Alright, let's finish this piece of crap. It's at least a new topic and a new combo. And good management. I'm sure everybody was excited to do a Barbie game. It's our second Barbie game. Oh, I want better graphics. I don't know if we're gonna get that from R&D or not, though, because we're working on the hardware. I don't know if I should have worked on the graphics. It just it seemed like it would be cool to explore what the hardware would be. Let's release this game. New search, reactive quests, self AI, self learning AI. No, I don't want. So the game's gonna become sentient. I'm sorry, Super Paul. I can't let you do that. Let's see the Barbie Goes to Bed reviews. I think we made this ourselves, right? So we're, we're not on the hook if people don't like it. I can't believe somebody likes it. Yeah, it should fall a bit short. It's about going to bed. I'm going to have some milk before bed. I would like a cookie. Don't get fat, Barbie. Time to binge and purge. Like, that's not funny. <laughs> hey, we're getting close on our hardware, I think. Boss, we would like to stage... An internal coding contest. I think we would all learn a lot by doing this. The incentive, we would need a prize for the winner. 90000 Oh, and the prize is going to go to charity? Go for it, Phyllis. All right, we're all doing it. I'm not going to win. It's going to be Phyllis up there that's going to win, or maybe Jesse. She certainly is not going to be fucking Luke. Everybody's getting better, though. We just got word that Barbie Goes to Bed has racked up half a million in sales? Holy shit. Our research is complete. There's definitely a big opportunity ahead of us. If we create our own hardware lab and have the appropriate technology specialists to run it, we could even create our own gaming console. It will not be cheap and probably take us a few years, but we could trump the likes of Xbox or PlayStation. Yes, five million. Open up a hardware lab. Now. Visit the hardware lab, simply click on the screen or drag to the right. Okay, where's the hardware lab? It's the hardware lab? Hell yeah! Develop a console. Okay, I don't care. Oh, sweet! The more sophisticated technology is, the better the console will fare against competing products. The more budget you reserve for Q&A, the better the quality. So, okay, we can have it look like the Xbox thing. We can have it look like the Xbox thing. Ew. Eh. No, that's too Nintendo-ish. Oh, fuck, that's ugly. So let's, um... I kind of like that one, but that's going to get knocked over by kids. You want something practical? Oh, wait, no, we're going to have this. So what should we call our gaming console? Um... The suck box? <laughs> Uh, it's, a, let's see, the Dick Sucking Games, that's the name of our company. The Dick Sucker? Mm, no. I think, um, the Suck Box would be best. The Suck Box. We're gonna spend some money on quality assurance. How much? 30 million? Oh, no. Let's spend, let's spend 15. We're gonna take a big risk, we're gonna spend 15 million on it. 
I want... Oh, we don't have the best graphics in the world because we didn't get those. I want those. I want... Oh, shit. We can't afford to make one of these. That's a lot of money. You're going to want on online play, multiplayer, a gamepad, achievements. We can't afford this. Stereo sound, soundtrack, surround sound, online play. Oh man, we could afford this. Except for if we make this, we're going to go bankrupt because we won't have any money to do anything else. So we're going to wait. Uh, we could make it with less quality assurance. That seems like a bad idea. So what can our, these guys do? Let's start a new project. Graphics or internet? Let's do internet opportunities. And let's go. I want to build a console though. There we go. That works even better. So let's... Barbara goes to bed. Sold a million. Woo! So we, um... Hey, it's made a lot of money, too. Let's do one more game, and then if we have time, we'll do a console. You know what? Oh. Luke... How the hell did Luke win? He's our worst employee, or at least competent employee. Does he cheat? This is a good thing I didn't fire him. If Foxy's looking, wa uh, watching, check that out, Foxy. Um, okay, let's start a new game. Wait, let's see if there's anything that the publishers have. That mature game, we could do that. Actually, we're gonna make a sequel. Let's go find. Mandolin Hero was huge. Is it too early to do a sequel to that? We're going to do Mandolin Hero 2. We'll do it for the same platform, the new uh, Microsoft one. And we'll call it um, Cowbell Hero, because it needs more Cowbell. Hell yeah. Seems like a good idea. If that's a success, then we'll get our console going. So let's see. It's a casual adventure. So, um... I'm not too worried about the engine. I do want the gameplay to be fun, though. We need good gameplay. And we want decent story and quests. So we don't really need moral choices in a game like that, even though we've done that in the past. Interactive story? Oh, that sounds cool. Um, online play? Oh, we can't do that. Basic physics? That's not even... How about multiplayer? That seems good. Achievements? Character progression? I don't know how important that is. Cooperative play? How about we put that in there instead? Yeah, that looks good. And we're going to start some marketing for this. We're going to give it magazines and demos. Barbie's done. It made 12 million. Wow, it made us a lot of money. I can't believe that. Oh, let's use our bo bonuses. Come on, cowbell hero. Everybody's going to be like, I want that cowbell that you hit. The electronic cowbell. So I don't think dialogues are going to be very important. I mean, maybe a little bit. You could have like a little bit of a story that runs through it. But by and large, it's not going to be terribly important. We would like to have okay level design. It doesn't have to be great. I don't think the AI is going to matter a hell of a lot. So let's see. Are we good on all those? Celebrity voice acting? Can we, uh... No. Voiceover? No. Dynamic environment? How about no loading screens? Come on, a little higher? Yeah, yeah. Because think how much fun like Guitar Hero or games like that would be without loading screens. That would be kick-ass, if you ask me. If this is halfway successful, though, then we're going to start a new console. Come on, come on, come on, Cowboy Hero. See, we don't need much of a world design because you're going to be playing on stages with your fucking cowbell. You'd be like, tink, 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 yeah. I don't know, though, you could make a little bit of a world for people to travel around. 
we won't put too much in it. We want the so sounds got to be good. It's a music game. We can take the graphics down probably a bit. So um, soundtrack, yeah. Surround sound, kick ass. Dynamic world, no. Realistic weather, no. Day night cycle, I guess those don't really matter. That looks good to me. We're getting our internet shit going. Maybe I should have worked on the um, graphics for the console we wanted to make. Oh well. Man, bubbles are going everywhere. It's a freaking bubble fest. Bubble fest 2013. Man, they had a shitload of bugs though. Come on, get those bugs out. We want a large booth to promote Cowbell Hero. Alright, are we ready to release it? Almost, everybody? Get those bugs out. I think we're still going to have to patch it, though. Or was that the Barbie game? I don't remember. Yeah, Cowbell Hero. Everybody's going to be like, man, I saw the demo of Cowbell Hero. That guy was fucking working the space. We have, like, one song. Don't fear the Reaper. It's like, what other songs involve Cowbell? I mean, yeah, it's going to be kind of tough. Over a million people had to see Cowbell Hero. Number one booth, yeah! I wanted that at least once. So let's uh, release this. New records. This is going to be like future technology when it comes to Cowbells. Yeah! Oh, we're, I didn't know you go over to level 10. Well, of course, this is the first time I've ever played the game, so... I honestly thought we were going to go bankrupt in the first or second year. I didn't think we'd still be around. Realistic body language. You'd be like, mm-mm. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. So let's send some people on vacation. Let's get the reviews for Cowbell Hero. Come on, be high. It's a good sequel to a huge hit. Enjoyable! I saw 10. 8. Well, that's pretty good. Come on, it's a cowbell! You get a fucking cowbell! Who doesn't want a cowbell? Yeah, it is a great game, all games. It's an outstanding game. So everybody go on vacation. I'm sick of you. Y'all stink. Get the fuck out of my office for a bit. Yeah, over half a million sales already. Yeah, Cowbell Heroes, million sales. Okay, we can start our console then. Let's uh, start building a console. What was it, the suck box? Yeah. No, I, I changed my name. That was our working name. It's all white here. It's the jizz box. Because <laughs> you got to put it in the jizz box. So what are we going to do for quality assurance? Where's the quality assurance? Cost? Oh, God. 59 million? What? I thought it was less before. Give me a second. I thought it was like 14 million or something before. Okay, we're gonna do. Oh, and it must be the, the um. The other things? I want multiplayer. No, I want online play. That stuff's all cool. Okay, so it'll be 59 total with that quality assurance budget. Let's go up to 61. Okay, we're going to take a big risk, but we're going to have pretty good graphics, I guess. I don't know. Basic physics? Yeah, we need basic physics. Oh, fuck. That means let's take the quality assurance down. <laughs> oh, I want to build one of these so bad, even if it's not the best. Let's take off the steering wheel. It's not a big deal. What if we just go with surround sound? Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna spend like that a much a month. I better get back to making new games though, because we're spending a lot of money on research shit. Get everybody back. 
the jizz box. I would like it to be a lot cooler, but I guess we gotta start somewhere. Hopefully it sells. All right, oh, look at all those research points we have. Let's uh, develop a new game. Let's do um, something we absolutely haven't, we've done rhythm, right? Ninja, let's do a startup game. Let's do a mature one, large, simulation, strategy. We're gonna do it for the PC. Let's see, it should be about, let's see, what kind of game should, it, it'll be like um, SpaceX, it'll be about rockets, it'll be um, space ass. It'll be about making giant rockets that look like dildos and going to Mars. It'll be like the Elon Musk guy or whatever. So let's use our bonuses. So it's a strategy and simulation game, so we definitely want it to be a kick-ass engine. Story and quests aren't as important because it's not really a role-playing game. So let's see. Um, let's make sure these others are good. I want character progression if we can. No? Yeah, let's get rid of cooperative play. You play it by yourself. Skill tree? Get rid of achievements. Let's see. Online play? Yeah. Basic physics? No. Video playback? How about basic physics? Yeah, definitely basic physics. Kind of like Kerbal Space Program. We don't really need mod support. And then what can we get away here? Linear story? Uh, simple cutscenes? Advanced cutscenes? Simple cutscenes. That seems cool. Space ass! So you can, um, and we're gonna market it. Oh, we're making a bunch of money. We'll do a small campaign, half a mil. I almost wish I would've spent more on the jizz box now. I didn't realize we'd be making so much on Cowbell Hero. This thing's raking in the money. I wish I had 40 million in real life. The last few games we've done have been really successful. Let's get back to this. Let's raise the budget here a little bit. There we go. Um, let's see. I don't think dialogues are going to be super important. We'll have some, but they don't need to be super important. How low can we go? Right there? That seems cool. We'll have a dialogue tree then. Because you can read most of the stuff like this. We want you got to have a good AI though. Um, let's see, better AI, dynamic environment, no, mini games. I think we can get away with that, right? Sweet. And let's see, Jesse Gilbert's overdone. Can you take that over? And have uh, this guy take AI? That'll work. Come on, keep working on that jizz box. I'm spending a lot of money on it per month. Get that jizz box going. Whoa, space ass, man. Bubbles are going everywhere. Flipping out. How we doing, RD Lab? Internet opportunities? Good. Get some. Cowbell Heroes off the market. It made $53 million. Holy shit. So let's see. Simulation and strategy. We definitely want some world design for them to be in. Um, I want the sound and the graphics to be good. So are those good? Can we do anything more for... Day-night cycle? Uh, I guess we'll keep the day-night cycle. I think that's good. Except for this guy's overworked. So, um, Phyllis, probably don't have you work enough. You take that over. So much going on. Working on internet opportunities. We got our jizz box going. Working on our new space simulation game. Strategy game. You can start your own space company. After careful examination, we've come to the conclusion that the internet is a huge opportunity in the gaming industry. We already see some small signs how successful multiplayer games can be, but multiplayer is usually an additional feature to a game and not the main focus. We think we could develop technologies to create a massive multiplayer online game, ooh, like World of Warcraft, a game where tens of thousands of people can play together. To create such an MMO, more research is necessary. The second discovery is that we could start developing an online distribution platform. Instead of players buying game in local stores, we could make Steam. We could download games directly from our servers. This would cut out the middleman and we could gain a large share of the market and additional income to fund our developments. 
So we have two new researches. Um, things we can do. Codename Grid and MMOs. Oh man, which one should we go for? I guess I'll figure that out next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I want to get our jizz box done. I might go up the... Um